All right. So I just woke up. It's uh, day 31 for me. 31 days since dope. Since I stuck needles in my arms and continue to get high. And I will tell you that uh, it is amazing where I'm at now, like what is going on, how happy I am. I, I'm, I'm literally just amazed at how good life really does get. My sleep is still like, eh, you know, not, not problems going to sleep, but I guess you could say staying in sleep, staying asleep for a long time. Uh, you know, once you get six, seven hours, you, you just, I mean, you just, you're done. You can't go beyond that. You don't want to go beyond that. You feel like, all right, I'm missing out. I want to get up and want to do the day. Now, that's just me. But I will tell you this, um, what helped me early on was music, talking to people, staying around people, talking to people. Now, these have to be people that are clean. These have to be, I recommend talking to people who are like us, people who were addicted or are addicted to drugs and alcohol that aren't using, takes one to know one, that type of people. Uh, so what I did is I went to Narcotics Anonymous, and I went to Alcoholics Anonymous because I've also had very severe issues with alcohol in the past. Um, but <coughs> I will say I got a cold right now. That's just from the weather, though. It's getting cold outside. Um, but I will say early on, talking to people, music, and those nights where I couldn't sleep at all, and I was just wondering, like, what do I do? I mean, I don't even know what to do. You know what I mean? Um, I would sit up all night. I'd be, like, watching my YouTube. I'd be sitting there watching YouTube, just like. And on YouTube, there's a lot of people who kind of show you, like, day one, day two, day three, day four of heroin withdrawals. So while you're withdrawing, your mind, you know, like, your body's going to suck. I mean, it, it, the the extreme withdrawals that I went through uh, for the first couple days, <coughs> I didn't want to watch anything. In fact, it took me about four days before I even wanted to, like, before I wanted to do anything. Um, but that was just because I guess I, I was doing a lot. And um, after that, I, I needed something to occupy my mind because what am I going to do at 4 a.m. in the morning? When I'm sitting in the house going, oh, I could call the dope man or try to find a way to get to the dope man's house or oh, I need I need to do something. I need, I need to find a way to get straight. I need Percocet, somebody, give me something, you know. So I'd watch YouTube and I'd watch these guys suck. And I mean, they sucked. But then they kind of like, you start watching the next video and you see him like, oh, he looked a little better now. You keep watching the next video, and then all of a sudden you see him at day 30, and he's like, Hey, man, I'm going to the gym. Life is good. Uh, I, I quit this. I quit that. I don't need this. Life's great, and it's it's so much better, and God is good. And and I was like, what? Okay, if I could just make it to 30 days, I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be okay. I think I, think I can do this. So yesterday, I have a sponsor in the groups that I go to, and um, I ended up picking up my 30-day chip, and um, I'm going to get a key tag today, but um, that's that's a side note. Anyway, um, I was going to pretty much just tell people that if you really want to have a better life, I mean, you really really want to enjoy life and feel a hell of a lot better than you did just make it to 30 days and you will see already from 30 days how amazing life is over these past 30 days i've had you know jobs where i've done uh because i own my own business doing landscaping and, and tree service and stuff and lawn care i've had 400 bucks you know at a time handed to me and um just it was in my wallet um, and I would go to my wife and go to my mom and, and help people out and just, here, here's some money. Like, what? $400? The, the dope man would have been happy to know Derek had that money, you know? So uh, I just thought I'd make this video, man. 
I, I, I just want to encourage people, dude. Life's so good. I'm about to drink me a cup of coffee. You see that blue thing over there? Look right over there. Yep. That blue thing is my cup of coffee. I'm going to go get me some breakfast. I'm going to go to work. And uh, I'm going to go to another meeting. I'm going to call my sponsor. This morning I woke up and I woke up and I said, you know what? I rise today, oh God, to do thy will. Because I have to. And it's, 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 uh, to me, it's change I must or die I will, you know, literally, that's a, that's a story in itself, what I did my last time trying to use, um, so I meditate on the day and brush my teeth and get all ready and, and, uh, the day goes fine. And if it starts to get rough, my sponsor said, Hey, you know, you can start your day over at any time. You can start your day over any time. Just don't use. So, I mean, it's it's a miracle that I'm not using. It's a miracle. Um, I'm so thankful for the life I have right now, even 30 days clean. And my sponsor said, just wait. Just wait, Derek. You have no clue how amazing life's about to get. And how much better it's going to be by 90 days. And then by six months. And then by a whole year. Your life's going to be radically transformed. Shoot. I'm looking forward to that. (laughs) 31 days here, y'all. I would have made this video yesterday, but I was busy loving on my wife. So, um, I wouldn't even have done that. Shoot. I'd have just been nodding out, laying on the damn bed. But, here I am. Awake, alive, ready to do stuff. Uh, I get goosebumps on my neck and my arms. And I get the chills. You know, a good song comes on. And I'm like, yes, play that song, you know. Life is good. And if you're wondering if this ever gets better, if you're early on in detox, I swear to you, it got better for me around 14 to 16 days in terms of... (coughs) In terms of all the pain being gone, period. No lower back irritability, no cramps and stuff in your legs and all that. Now, I started feeling better, like actually started feeling better at day five, day six than what I did at, you know, day three, day four. That was miserable. Day five, day six, I started feeling better. I still hurt. It still sucked. But, uh... It wasn't nothing compared to the first, you know, acute withdrawals, if you will. That depends on how long you've been doing dope, and it depends on how much. But um, I've been doing it long enough that, you know, it took me about five, six days for me to actually start going, all right, I'm over the acute withdrawal, that immediate withdrawal that you get. And now I'd be going through the longer withdrawals. So by like day 15, 16... I was starting to um, to sleep better. Um, that was my hard part. I went through seven days of no sleep. Sleep is one hell of a thing that you will discover while coming off of uh, opiates that'll drive you a little crazy, but you won't die, but you sure won't sleep right. Don't recommend taking meds personally because I I just switched my addiction. You know, so that's all I got. God bless you. Get involved. Get a group. Get involved. Get a sponsor. Join Narcotics Anonymous or or AA if you're really desperate and you really want to do this. And do the steps. Work those steps. I'm on step four now. Write my inventory right now. Um, My inventory for my, if you will, uh, all the the people that uh, that I'm angry at. If you will, I have resentments. Um... Get involved and uh, get you a home group that's local to you from Narcotics Anonymous or AA, and it works. I'm telling you what, I go in there and I hear messages, and I'm like, dude, that was God. Because my wife just said blah, blah, blah. My mom just said blah, blah, blah. And then I come in here and they said blah, blah, blah. But yeah, anyway, um, it's pretty cool to see how God's been working in my life. And I was not like, let's talk about God when I was out there using. I didn't want to talk about God. I didn't want to deal with it. So, uh, it's a miracle. God bless y'all. Bye.